Welcome back to Art of Stories. Hi. Today we are going to see how to draw panda with normal pencil and charcoal pencil. Also know what is panda diplomacy. So let's get started. For all the viewers who wanted a tutorial video too, I have made a separate video of the same art piece in which I will be giving you all the details and will not be quick running the video to 16x it will be more or less 2x so you can enjoy the process and also know the tips and tricks i used in this art i will provide the link of the video in the description below this video i'm just mentioning the most important part of this drawing so that you guys can get a connection between the story and the art going on so the important points that to be noted while using a charcoal or a pencil for that matter first of all it will spread very easily so you need to be careful with your hands for that use a paper to support your hands you can see me doing that further going always try to make the face outline as per satisfaction this way you will get encouragement to finish the sketch and also can figure out what all adjustment need to be made in rest of the portion in the beginning you might have seen me making circles for the face and body this is the perfect way to get the structure of any animal once you have shaded with the charcoal pencil you can erase off the outline which we made through pencil and if in case you are facing difficulty to erase the rest of the pencil do not worry while we are shading the panda the charcoal will take over the part and the pencil will not be visible you can use eraser tissue paper cotton bud or your fingers to lighter the shade of charcoal if you do not have blending stumps and two most important thing one do not forget to have fun with your drawing second do not fear to make mistakes let's get into the story of panda diplomacy Have you ever seen a real panda in your life? Chances are very less if you are not from these countries or ever been to these countries. And these 20 countries do not own these pandas. They are loaned from China. So why are pandas loaned out? How much China earn in return? It was a practice of sending giant pandas from China to other countries as a tool of diplomacy. It started in 1941. China used to utilize pandas as token of diplomacy, which means panda were gifted to other countries to represent friendship during Second World War. When the first panda was sent to the US to tie the knot, it was sent to washington dc and from there it was taken over by national zoo at that time over 75000 people flooded the zoo to admire this cuddly big bear this process of gifting panda was carried forward by many other nations for quite a few years in 1984 these policies of gifting modified such that the pandas would be loaned instead of gifts at first pandas were loaned for $5000 a month then this practice also got modified again in 1991 in favor of long term loans china would loan pandas for over 10 years with a fees of 1 million us dollar per year and with a provision that any cub born during this lease period is also the property of china In 2003 China sent two pandas to Thailand. In 2007 due to obesity they were put on a diet. But then pandas couldn't survive and by September 2019 they died. After this incident public started blaming China for the leasing agreement. Few others raised the concern of animal welfare outside their habitat. And at the same time earthquake happened in 2008 in China which resulted the death of few pandas. all of this was reducing the number of pandas and it was becoming more and more important to save this species so china started taking them back 
and they are estimating by 2023 all pandas will be back to china relatively panda lack natural predators but still they are at risk as per wwf there is only 1864 pandas in the wild and 400 in captivity hope these giant cuddly bears get their best place this is how the final sketch look like i hope you liked it and also the story if you liked it please like share and subscribe thank you